Hello and welcome to our final HubSpot tip of the month for 2023. Uh, this is a really exciting one, something that they've released relatively recently where you can, another avenue to get HubSpot to talk to other systems. Now in this example, I'm gonna be showing you how we take advantage of this new feature to get HubSpot to talk to zero. So let's have a look at our system. So we've got uh, zero sitting here. I'll just refresh that. So we've got no invoices in zero at the moment. It's a fresh new demo version of zero. And we've got a deal sitting in our pipeline. So when I move this deal across to ready to invoice, uh, it now, then goes off and calls this, uh, runs this new feature, calls some code, and then generates an invoice in zero. So uh, pretty exciting. Uh, I'm going to jump into zero again right now and refresh. Ideally, it's credit. There we go. It's credit it pretty quickly. It's almost instant, and uh, we now have a. Um, a, de a draft invoice in Xero. Uh, most people, most clients we work with prefer draft because um, obviously you don't want random salespeople just pushing invoices across into HubSpot when we're not, they're not ready. Uh, there might be components missing. You might have a certain deal with that specific client, um, which uh, most clients prefer a someone to, to look over with their eyes to make sure that the deal is actually, uh, the invoice is actually correct. Now, uh, I will say uh, the code that we run, we're run we running here is quite simple. Um, we generally, when we're integrating these types of systems, we do add like business layers on top as well. So bear in mind, this is a very, very simple demo. Um, but what I am demoing is this whole concept of the HubSpot talking to another system. So let's take a look at how that actually works. So if I jump into my HubSpot, uh, if you go in your settings in the back end and, and jump into the private apps um, section, uh, we will have a link in the, uh, the notes of how to actually generate a private app. It's relatively simple. Um, now, when you've actually created a private app, uh, HubSpot has now opened up this tab here called webhooks. So a webhook is uh, a something in our system, so like HubSpot, uh, when something's triggered, uh, like when we move the deal across to a certain stage, it then goes off and runs code. So the whole point is that we don't want Zero to be constantly interrogating HubSpot to say, hey, has there been a new deal? Has a deal been created 24-7? Uh, we want HubSpot to proactively talk to Zero only when something changes in, in HubSpot. So this is the code that we call. I'm not gonna jump into the code, so don't worry about that. Um, bear in mind that um, this is the, uh, the code that sits here is the code that actually generates the invoice from uh, from zero. And the other section that we've got here is this section here, which is like a trigger. So some of you may have worked with workflows in the past where you've had that uh, carrot dangled where it says uh, add a webhook. Uh, most of the time that's been available in enterprise versions of HubSpot only. It's now available in professional and other versions. Um, so let's have a quick look at how this works. So I'm gonna click on edit app. Uh, and in our integration, we've got different scopes of like how something can talk back to HubSpot. But the one we're interested in is the webhook uh, web section here. So that's the code that gets called. Uh, and then we have what we call a subscription. So at the moment, the webhook is subscribed. So that's the trigger. It's subscribed so that when a deal changes stage, it calls the code. So to create an additional one, say if I want it to be when uh, a name changes on a deal, I can then create a subscription, choose the deal itself, listen for an event, so property changed, and then we can select something like the, uh, the deal name is changed, and then subscribe. So that means that now when a, when a stage is changed or a, or a name is changed, it goes off and fires this code, which then generates um, the invoice as well. Now, obviously, if the name was changed, uh, we'd set up the code in here to detect that, and it would update the invoice rather than generate an invoice. 
um, but you get the uh, the idea of how that works. So um, look, it, uh, it's it's a tiny bit technical, but I wanted to just demonstrate that these webhooks that were, were only available in enterprise versions of HubSpot, uh, they're now available in other versions as well, so professional and, and um, starter and I, I think free as well, uh, where you can uh, get HubSpot to talk to another system. If you've got another system that you've been eagerly trying to connect to HubSpot, this is now opened up and uh, you can essentially do that. So look, uh, this is our final HubSpot tip of the month for 2023. I will say if this is interesting to you and you need the, uh, that void of the coding field, please, uh, please reach out to us because uh, we actually uh, implement a lot of implementations between systems. Uh, just click the link in the, um, the notes that you've seen in front of you. Uh, book a, a meeting in with us and we'll set a time just to have a chat about how we could help. But uh, otherwise, we will see you in 2024. Have a fantastic break and uh, looking forward to seeing you in January. Uh, have a fantastic time, everyone. Thank you.